Before we get into the bulk of today's video, I wanted to go over a topic which is obviously very important uh, for a poker player, and that's uh, downswings and how to deal with them. Unfortunately, despite wearing the lucky t-shirt and having a couple of lucky t-shirts the last couple of days, we're downswinging, we're downswinging hard. Now, I think that one of the best pieces of advice that I had ever heard in my life regarding downswings and how to deal with them is to ensure that you don't tilt when downswinging and that you continue to play your best and it doesn't affect your mental state. Make sure that those downswings don't affect you. And the best way to make sure that they don't affect you is to be way overrolled for the game that you're playing in. You know, if you're playing one, two, no limit and a buy-in is like 200 bucks or $300, and you lose, let's say, like $5,000 over the course of like a couple of weeks, the best way to not care at all about that is to have a bankroll that's like, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to know that you can handle those swings. When I first started playing poker and had first moved to Las Vegas, I unfortunately was extremely underrolled for the games that I was playing. And as a result, when I started downswinging, it severely affected not only my mood and my mind state, but more importantly, my play. You know, because the downswing was affecting how I felt, it was affecting how I played, and that just made everything substantially worse. The first year that I had lived in Las Vegas was quite possibly one of the worst and most difficult periods in my life. I remember being, you know, pretty depressed. I didn't know many people. I remember, you know, losing night after night after night coming back to my apartment and thinking why am I putting myself through this like what 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 did I ever think or whatever made me think that this was a good idea to move to Las Vegas and give poker a try the truth of the matter is that you know the saying of it's a hard way to make an easy living you know it's true it's you know it's it's fantastic to, to be able to play a game and live off of it but at the same time, it's extremely difficult when things don't go your way. And so the best way to be able to handle these situations is to ensure that you have the money to handle these swings. All right, well, let's get into the bulk of what I wanted today's videos to be, which was regarding my favorite YouTube channel. So let's get into that. And then the next video after that, we'll kind of go over some of uh, what's been going on as of late. All right, thanks, guys. One, two, three jump one two three jump <laughs> <laughs> what up youtube check raise charles here heading into the office a little early like 9 30 in the morning early it's actually tuesday following thanksgiving I decided I wanted to do uh, a little bit of a different video, just trying to put out new content. Hopefully the plan is by doing a little bit of a mixture of different things, I'll be able to do maybe two videos a week, maybe three. It's a little uh, hopeful, probably not, but we'll aim, gotta aim high. And for this video, what I wanted to do was go over kind of my favorite YouTube channels, things I like to watch. I figure, you know, if you enjoy watching my channel, maybe you'll enjoy watching the things that I enjoy watching. It's kind of nice to share the love and uh, get some other channels. So regarding poker, um, I think if you watch my channel, chances are you're going to watch some of the bigger ones. So I didn't really want to mention, you know, the Andrew Nimi, the Brad Owen, Doug Polk, uh, those guys who I think, you know, Generally speaking, considering I have under 5,000 followers and they have like 25,000 plus, chances are you're already watching them. Uh, what I wanted to do was kind of mention some other smaller channels. And specifically, one that I wanted to mention was a newer vlogger that goes by Johnny Vibes. Uh, it's Antonio Moreno, brother to Andrew Moreno. You guys might know him for a couple of deep WSOP runs. He's a grinder, uh, married to Christy Arnett. So this is his brother. I'm not sure if I've actually played with him before. I know I have played with Andrew Moreno before, um, but both seem like really, really cool guys. I think his channel is awesome. It actually reminds me a lot of Andrew's as far as the fact that, or rather Andrew uh, Nimi's, as far as cinematography. I think he does a great job editing. He plays like 510 in San Diego. And so I think his channel is just awesome. I really think you should check it out. 
Uh, he's just starting out, so I think he's got like right under a thousand, but I'm sure he's gonna blow up like real quick because the stuff is just fantastic. It's well done. He knows his stuff, so check him out. Uh, now, I know a lot of people watch my channel also for uh, Parliament Omaha content, so I wanted to name two channels, which I'm sure, once again, people may follow, but in case you don't, uh, the first of which is Joe Ingram. His is a little more kind of like news and lifestyle related. Uh, I think he's just got really great positive energy. He's just uh, seems like a nice guy. Perhaps he's, you know, not very critical on individuals. He tends to kind of just be nice to everyone, but I think that's great. So I love his channel. And another is Jane Nandez Poker. And his is just going to be way more kind of content based as far as learning. He's the head instructor for Upswing Poker in the PLO Lab, and his channel just has a tremendous amount of information regarding PLO. If you're looking to learn about PLO, I can't recommend his stuff enough. It's just amazing. So if you'd like to learn more about Palom in Omaha, definitely check out Jane Nandez Poker. Now, another channel that I wanted to move on to, it seems like everybody and their mom in poker is recently turned to crypto, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, things of that sort. I've been kind of interested since the beginning of the year. You know, it's not something I'd, I'd like to talk about much because I think everybody just kind of, you know, jumped on that boat. And it's, once again, you know, this isn't investment advice, but I think there's a great channel if you are interested. Uh, it goes by Crypto Daily. The guy's just like fun to watch. So it's not even necessarily the fact that he's giving investment advice, but I think he's putting out a lot of useful information in a fun, friendly way. He doesn't seem to kind of shill any particular coins. I think he puts out a relatively unbiased opinion. And um, like I said, you know, not investment advice, but I think it's just, if, you if you're if you looking to learn about cryptocurrencies, I personally believe, you know, maybe Bitcoin, Ethereum, things like that aren't necessarily the future of cryptocurrencies, but I believe in general, cryptocurrencies are the future. There's a lot of positive technology in there, and I'm really excited about the space. If you're looking to learn more about that, check out Crypto Daily. Like I said, uh, it's a really fun guy to watch. And the final channel that I really wanted to mention, this is kind of just on the opposite end of the spectrum, probably needs no introduction because it is you know, a really large channel, but his name is Peter McKinnon. Right when I first started vlogging, I looked up kind of other vloggers, and this guy maybe started around the time I did and just blew up. I think he's at like 1.5 million subscribers now. But his channel, once again, just brings the energy, really fun guy to watch, and just has great kind of helpful thing, tidbits about editing and how to vlog, how to video. So if you're looking to kind of get into vlogging or you're just interested in kind of you know, vlogs in general, I think he's just a really fun guy to watch. He travels around, does some fun things. So check him out, drone footage, it's, it's beautiful. It's fun to watch. I think, uh, you know, it's not for everybody, but I definitely think it's worth checking out. So those are a few of the channels that I really enjoy watching. I'd love to hear about, uh, you know, some recommendations of what your favorite channels are. Please leave a comment down below, let me know you know what what's your favorite channel because I think that for me personally I've really turned away from watching television I actually spend just a lot of time on YouTube nowadays I guess because I'm creating content on YouTube I then kind of fall down the YouTube rabbit hole I think a lot of us do you know you start on one channel and then you f end up in the sidebar and keep kind of going from video to video to video and uh, you know I, I think it's I think it's really fun I think it's you know more kind of original content as opposed to kind of the crap you're seeing on TV nowadays. Now that's not to say that there aren't some fantastic shows, but again, I think that stuff's also moving to things like Netflix or uh, HBO. So anyway, please check out those channels. I'll have links uh, down below as well as links within the video. Hopefully, maybe it won't work. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll try to link them. They'll definitely be in the description. Check them now. Let me know what you think. There'll probably be a second video kind of following right after this if uh, my session today is interesting. Today is Tuesday, so it is PLO day. It's nine in the morning, um, so I'm gonna play some three five most likely to start the day, and then after that, later on will be PLO. Maybe I'll head back tonight kind of for another two a day. All right, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Good luck on the felt and uh, much love. Peace.